hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how to spot and avoid phishing scams that can potentially steal your personal information and your money all right phishing is a type of cyber attack where hackers send you fake emails text messages and calls right pretending to be someone that you trust now like your bank it could be your boss or your favorite online store they trick you or they try to trick you into clicking on a link opening an attachment or giving your personal information like your password your pin your credit card numbers and other sensitive data right now that sounds very scary isn't it well don't worry in this video i am going to show you i'm going to also teach you simple tips and tricks to protect yourself from these sneaky scammers all right now but before we do that before we get right into that please hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos all right now let's get right into it tip number one check the sender's address and names all right one of the easiest ways to spot a phishing email is to look at the person who sent it the name of the person who sent it right sometimes the hackers will use a fake email address that looks similar to the real one but has slight difference so for example instead of paypal.com they might use payp1.com or they might use pay-pal.com now if you're not very observant and careful you definitely not notice now other times they will use a random address that has nothing to do with the company or the person they are trying to impersonate now for example if you might also get an email from amazon say you got an email from amazon that says it's from john smith at gmail.com that sounds very funny right so that is a red flag amazon would not send you an email from a gmail account right so they should have an email that is joined to their domain name all right so it could be info at amazon.com or inquiries at amazon.com or customer service at amazon.com that looks more authentic all right so when you get emails like that be know that that is potentially an uh, uh, efficient scam also pay attention to the name of the sender sometimes the hackers will use generic names like customer service account manager instead of a specific person or department where that email is coming from if you are not sure if the email is legit you can also contact the company or the person directly using their official website or their phone number tip number two look for spelling and grammar mistakes you'll definitely find them one of the other ways to spot a phishing email is to look out for any spelling or grammar errors in the message hackers often use poor language skills and automated translation tools to create their phishing emails which can also result in very obvious mistakes okay you might, for example you might see something like dear sir slash madam we have detected unusual activities in your account or you might see something like please confirm your identity by clicking here these are not how professional companies or people communicate with their customers or employees if you see any of these typos missing punctuations and weird sentences in the email be very very suspicious number three don't click on links or attachments all right the most dangerous part of efficient email is that you get to see links or attachments that the hackers want you to click on right these can lead you to fake websites that look like the original ones or the real ones but are designed to steal your information when you enter them now or they can also ask you to download an attachment which when you do simply downloads malware onto your devices and that can help them spy on your activity lock your files or damage your system the best way to avoid this is to never click on any link or download attachments in an email that you are not expecting or that you look so that looks suspicious all right instead of you to do or to click or open attachments you can hover your mouse over the link to see where it really goes or you type the website address yourself into your browser you can also scan any attachments with your favorite virus software before opening them be 
be very wary of urgent or threatening messages all right another common tactic that hackers use to trick you into falling for your phishing scam is that they create a sense of urgency or threats in their messages they might tell you that your account has been hacked that you have won a prize that uh, you owe money that you need to update your information or that something bad will happen something terrible will happen if you don't add very fast now these are all designed to make you panic and click on their link or attachments without thinking twice don't fall for this trap remember that legitimate companies or persons will never ask you uh, over text messages or over phone calls or over emails to provide your personal information or money all right now they will also never threaten you with actions right account suspension or um, other consequences if you don't respond immediately these are ways to know that uh, it is potentially a phishing scam right Teach yourself and others about phishing scams now the last and most important tip that i have to give you is that you should educate yourself and others about these phishing scams and how to prevent them you can learn more about the different types of phishing attacks and how they work by visiting the websites that i'll be dropping in the description box all right so i'll be dropping the links to this website where you can learn more about how phishing scams work how to identify them and how to report them in the description box below you can also report any phishing email or text messages that you receive to the company or the persons they are pretending to be from all right so that way you can also help mitigate some of these uh, attacks and finally you can also share this video with your friends right your co-workers your family to help them stay safe from phishing scams too that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new and useful if you did please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment below and share it with your network and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks for watching i will see you next time peace out